Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing some tidying up around the house and redecorating with some new farmhouse decor finds, making a summer popsicle recipe, as well as prepping the house for our new puppy who comes home this weekend. We are so, so excited, and I know I'll feel even more prepared when I get his areas all set up and ready for him. And this video is going to be the last in my Cricut questions series where I partnered with Cricut to answer some of your most commonly asked questions. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're starting today tidying up in my bedroom. I think I've only shown my new antique hutch maybe just one other time here on my channel. So if you haven't seen it yet, you'll have to let me know what you think. I thought that this was just such a unique piece and I really loved the shape of it and the sage green is really calming for this space, but still just kind of brightens it up with a little pop of color since everything else is pretty neutral. I'm using this hutch or armoire, whatever you want to call it, for some throw blanket storage and also I'm going to keep my Cricut machine and supplies in here. And for this video, the Cricut question that I wanted to talk about was different ideas and ways that you can actually use your Cricut machine to make money. If I wasn't doing YouTube and had just a little bit more time in the day, I would love to open my own Etsy shop. Maybe someday when the kids are a little older, I might be able to. But when I started sharing the shirts that I was designing and making with my Cricut, I can't tell you how many of my friends and family I made them for. And that also goes for most of the Cricut projects that I share. Always I have people messaging me wanting to see if I can make some for them. And that's why I think it's just such a perfect little side hustle. People are always looking for shirts for kids' birthday parties, vacations, or as gifts around the holidays. So that's one really good idea how to make money using your Cricut. And the newest thing that I made with my Cricut was this personalized cup for miles you could buy blank cups in bulk and sell them like crazy at your kids sporting events i also have on my list to make the dogs matching personalized bandanas with my cricket and everyone just loves their pets and loves spoiling their pets so i bet something like that would be a great way to make some side money using your cricket machine as well it doesn't feel like it was long ago we were head over heels in love, thought it lasts forever, but somehow we got lost. Looking back, I didn't realize what was wrong with me. I can't deny. I can't tell you the last time I splurged for new decor at Target, but I have been eyeing this cozy knit throw and these pom-pom pillows for so long, so I just decided to treat myself. I also grabbed this faux plant from Hearth and Hand, and I have a similar one that I bought, I want to say last year, that I keep in my kitchen, and so I decided to buy one to go in my bedroom as well. That's why I wrote you a letter, cause you see, I write so much better than I speak, and I need to tell you, you were not 
This is my first piece from the popular Casa Luna brand that's been at Target for I think a year if not more and everything in their collection feels so cozy. I came really close to buying their pillows once but I ended up reading mixed reviews so I decided to skip it but let me know if you've purchased anything from this brand and what your thoughts have been. I really love the whole collection and I always walk down that aisle but it is pretty pricey so I really want to make sure that the quality is good before I buy too many of their items. And you may have noticed that I cleared everything off of one of the nightstands and that is because I plan to keep the puppy's kennel here next to my bed just so he can sleep next to me and just feel our presence for the first night or so while he's adjusting. I know when you first bring them home, especially when they're used to being with their mom and their litter mates, it can be a really tough adjustment for them. So I'm hoping just being close to us will make that a bit easier. And I also bought him this little snuggle puppy to sleep with. It has a heating pad and a little heartbeat to mimic his litter mates. So hopefully that will help him feel relaxed in here. I also picked up these hanging signs from Hearth and Hand. They were $5.99 each and I just thought they were so cute. One says be kind and the other one says be brave. I'm adding the be brave sign in my son Miles' room on his little hook. He's starting kindergarten soon which is just so crazy to me how fast time has gone by but I love that little reminder for him when he first walks in his room. The other be kind sign I thought would be cute to add here to my peg rail that's on my kitchen island. Okay, so I saw these jam and yogurt popsicles on the cover of Better Homes and Gardens magazine and they looked so delicious. I picked up all the ingredients to make them, which really wasn't much. All you'll need is jam. I wish we had homemade jam, that would probably be the best, but I just bought the store made raspberry jam and then whichever yogurt you like. For us, I chose vanilla Greek yogurt. I started by adding the yogurt and jam into two Ziploc bags. If you have the piping bags, that would probably be easier, but in this case, I just cut a little hole in the corner of each bag and it worked just fine. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are I want to know you better give me every detail I won't judge you as you know I could stay forever And then I just worked in layers alternating between the jam and the yogurt like the picture showed, but hindsight, I totally recommend adding less jam than I did here. I added just too much and the popsicle would break in that section before it came out of my mold. So I would recommend either keeping your jam layer really thin or what I think I'll do next time is take a skewer or a butter knife and try to somewhat swirl the layers together just to make sure they aren't going to break apart. My heart is open, it just took some time. Now I just hope that you stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you make that smile. So just stay for a little while. So just stay for a little while. 
And then the only other tip I have about this is after you freeze your popsicles and you're ready to remove them from the mold, just run them under some warm water for a few seconds first and it really helps them come out a lot easier. I have some really cute footage of Miles trying these at the end of the video that I will make sure to insert, but we totally loved them. They were really light and sweet and just perfectly refreshing for summertime and I will for sure be making these again. The next thing I found when I was at Target was this beautiful soap dispenser. I've been adding a ton of basket texture in my kitchen and I thought this would be so perfect next to my sink. It was down the bathroom section so I suppose it's technically for the bathroom but personally I don't really think it matters. They also had a matching rectangle tray in their collection that I was so tempted to pick up also. I will leave the link for this soap dispenser and all of the other items that I showed in today's video down in my description box. as honest as you are the way you make me feel at night when i am vulnerable and it's cold outside but you make it all right i want to know you better give me every detail i won't judge you as you know i could stay forever when i'm lying in The next thing on my puppy to-do list was putting a baby gate up so the puppy can't get upstairs until he's potty trained and just able to be trusted more in general. But unfortunately, after I got it all unboxed and took everything out and read the instructions, I realized that this specific baby gate, you actually need to screw into the wall, which I did not want to do. So luckily, I was able to go through our mess of a garage and I found one of our old baby gates. I totally forgot we had this baby gate and it was pretty wide so luckily I was able to go in and remove some sections so it fit the space perfectly and then I just returned the other one I bought so I guess that ultimately worked out and I was able to save some money and we have the baby gate up my heart is open it just took some time now i just hope that you stay for a little while you fix what's broken when you make that we have a very open concept floor model so there isn't really an ideal area for the puppy to hang out in our house while he's unsupervised so i decided to make a little puppy play area in our front room but first I just wanted to go in and remove the carpet that I had in here and just give everything a good clean.
I got out Brody's old crate, and for those of you who don't know, Brody is our 10-year-old Newfoundland, and he is a big dog, so this crate is, I think, one of the largest that they make, so I will be keeping our new puppy in his kennel that you saw upstairs until he outgrows it and then eventually move him into this one. We also have a little divider so I can make this crate smaller, but still, it just seems a little bit too big, and I think puppies prefer that den-like kennel kennel um, that I have upstairs, especially when they're small. So I think it's going to be best that we start with that one. Brody has not seen his old crate in years, probably nine years. So it was funny to see his reaction when I brought it out again today. And I couldn't tell if he remembered it or not, but he was definitely not interested in going in there. Something new that I'm doing this time around is attaching a puppy playpen to this crate. When we lived in our apartment, when Brody was a puppy, we had a kitchen layout that I could just keep him gated in when he was little. But since this house doesn't really have an area like that I decided to use this X pen which I've heard a lot of good things about so we'll see when puppy gets here what he thinks but I'm just thinking this is a good area that I can contain him when he's not being supervised or you know when he's not ready to go in his crate and take a nap As I said, it's been 10 years since we've had a puppy, so I've been doing a lot of reading and listening to podcasts and watching YouTube videos to just try to get prepared and, I don't know, mentally ready for what to expect. This time is also going to be different because I have kids to contend with, but overall, I think we're as prepared as we can be. But if you guys have any good tips or just dog product recommendations that you love, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what they are. We are picking up our puppy officially on Saturday, so I'll be sharing some sneak peeks over on my Instagram stories. So if you want to see some really adorable puppy videos and pictures, make sure you're following me over there. I will leave my handle right here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Are you ready for a popsicle? Yes. Here, let's see how it looks first. Look at this. All right, are you going to try? Yeah. You like it? What does it taste like? Um, it tastes um, like whipped cream. Like whipped cream? Yeah, <laughs>